Hey, so what's up everybody? It's Paul Shakuri here with another door-to-door -door mastery video. Now in this video, I'm going to uncover yet another question that came in and uh, a lot of you can utilize and benefit from this one because I recall it really resonated with me. I used to get this a lot when I got started. I was uh, a decent, well-spoken person at the doors. I wasn't closing the deal, but I was getting this often. And this question comes from Anthony. And by the way, Anthony, we were doing a coaching session with him. It was about five people in the room and we were doing a, an actual live coaching call. And uh, after that, he went out and implemented my teachings and here's what he said. Well, first of all, he goes, hi Paul, I trust you're having a great weekend. Following the recent trainings we've done, I saw significant changes in how potential customers respond to the door approach. So I first of all want to explain for you guys what we went over and discussed that went him from not getting so much communication to actually now getting more communication and moving further ahead. Well, when he started off, he started off sounding like the typical salesperson who goes out there, knocks on the door, and when they speak, he was the only one who was talking. Hey, how's it going, I'm Anthony, blah, 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 and just start speaking, you know, just to get as much information as he possibly can out of his mouth to hope and not not knowing this because the majority of you don't know this is what's going on but you guys speak and uh, you hope that the customer is going to tell you yes and you get the sale so that everything just fits into place now here's the problem with that the same thing is if you were going to go out there and build a car uh, you wouldn't just expect the car to be put together by itself if you just you know, jam things together and, uh, you know, just uh, glue it and, and, and work on things in such a, a way where it's not pr systematized, okay? The process of putting a vehicle together, and I'm no specialist on this, but it's, it's a systematic process to where you have to literally go in there and uh, you have to ultimately take the, the screws, the everything together, and as you see in those vehicles, and everything comes together in a system, systemized way. Well, it's the same thing with door-to-door -door sales. You see, the reason why you're getting rejected at the doors before people even move in, and a lot of my webinars, and by the way, you can search my, my YouTube channel about my live opener pitch webinar that I did, and I do often trainings on this opener pitch because your opener pitch is extremely important to master because if you're not engaging and you're getting rejected way too quick, it's because of certain things that you're doing. And uh, by the way, if you want to learn that in full for absolutely free, in the description, there's a link. Just make sure you click on that here on YouTube and that'll take you over to my free video series where I go into like an hour long video just about my opener pitch. And then on day two, I send you features and benefits and so much more. So to catch up the speed, we're not gonna go over that in this video. Grab that and uh, you'll see that that will most significantly improve. So he got over that phase and now he's getting people locked in and engaged and communicating with him. Don't you wish some of you are there or have been there or sorry can be there if so trust me it works but one common question that keeps coming and hindering the sale is this sounds too good to be true what's the catch now this is important you see thanks to Anthony learning thanks to Anthony developing himself he's now gotten people to the point where it's the opposite side of the spectrum he went from and as a matter of fact let me put this down but he went from, you know, he knocks on the door, which uh, this is him, and here's the door. He knocks on it, and people tell him, not interested, right away off the bat, okay? Now, just like yourself, there are certain reasons why you're getting this. I don't care what demographic you are or where you are, you're getting this for a specific reason. Not interested does not mean they're not interested, okay? So grab that free video series in this description if you don't already have it, and you'll learn what you can do to overcome this not interested phase. This is very important because what I'm about to teach you and what I'm about to go into will not get you anywhere if you're not engaging and people don't wanna to listen to you. But he went from not interested to now at least communicating with these people and they're going back and forth. Now on what level, like out of how many people, let's just say one to 10, how many people are you actually engaging with? This is very important because if you're just getting this one in 10 people, well, that's not so good. I mean, you should be closing one in every five people that you're speaking to. I don't care whatever you're selling. Now, if you're doing, for example, solar and it's more of a longer term sale, well, every fifth person you speak to, and you should be logging and tracking and tracing this, 
but um, this should ultimately turn into a sale. Now, now this is as you get better at the whole process. When you start, I always tell people, a minimum of 25 people you should be pushing yourself to. And 25 potential owners. So potential homeowners, potential customers, uh, depending on what you're selling, you have to identify what's your avatar. You know, who is it that you, is your target customer? So out of 25 people, you should be closing a minimum of one sale. And if you're not, it's just the skills that you're you're lacking right now in order to get yourself to that level. So we went from here to going on the opposite side of the spectrum of saying, this is too good to be true. Too good to be true. So why would somebody tell him this is too good to be true? It's because now that he's locking and engaging, everything inside of this pitch of what he's saying is resonating. It's coming to them. They're getting it. But what you're lacking, Anthony, is the cost that they're going to pay. Okay. This is what you're doing. You're building value. Okay. You're building value that is extremely high right now. And this is where you want to be. This is, this is the first step in the process. You want to build up a ton of value in what you're selling. But the problem is this. Okay, the money, which is the actual price, is unknown. Because you told me, and in this uh, email that you sent, you said, I'm still not getting the sale. It's going on, the price is too much, but, I'm uh, sorry, not the price is too much. Um, this sounds too good to be true, but then when you bring the price in, all of a sudden it falls sour and they say, you know, uh, do you mind coming back? So you're doing a good job in building the value, but as you build value, you slowly have to drip. This is my door-to-door -door sales drip method that I do. When I'm talking with somebody, I slowly let them know, hey, there's gonna be a few costs that are involved to acquire this amazing value that you and I see eye to eye, but do not worry. Once you actually hear how much it's going to cost and the li the little out of pocket you know financial uh, cost that it will it, it will cost you to be up front, um, you know it, it's 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 not going to make a massive impact on the way you live and ultimately raise your your family inside this property. And I do mean that. And because the majority of things you guys sell door to door, again, being home automation, home security, um, you know, it's, it's fairly and relatively inexpensive. You're not going in there and asking them for, you know, $20,000 up front. That's going to ultimately, you know, put them out and, uh, out of, uh, out of being able to pay the mortgage. And if you are, it's not something that I personally stick behind. Um, but, uh, you shouldn't be selling that, uh, door to door to, you know, your average neighborhoods. You should be going into the more wealthier neighborhoods and collecting that or possibly finding finding out who your avatar is. Door-to-door -door sales works wonderfully for roofing of a little bit more of a higher ticket item where people are willing to either pay it on monthly or upfront quite a bit, but for the most part, it's a service business. You're able to sell services door to door because where does your product ultimately go? If you're doing lawn care, what are you doing? You're doing the lawn right there where you're talking to the potential. If you're doing residential commercial security, where are you at? Exactly where it goes. If you're doing solar on the roof, everything is right there and then. So that's why it works so well and on a monthly you know, budget to where people can afford that. And of course, you're taking care of them. So he goes, I've noticed that every time I handle the rebuttal with either you know quoting a dollar and changing or that they laugh at this quoting um quoting a dollar amount uh, they change your mind and they start to laugh at this and usually respond they're not interested like i said i feel there's an issue of trust and i'm unable to move forward with the sale you see what he mentioned there and by the way anthony you're right and i'll tell you why you did such an amazing job in building up that value. You waited way too long to even let them know that it's going to cost them absolutely anything. And I know this because I did this when I first got started, not knowing that this was the wrong method, not trying to lie to anybody, but scared and nervous to bring up in my sale that, hey, wait a second, for all this value you're going to get, don't worry, uh, there is going to be a minute cost associated with it, but do not worry, it's going to be pennies when you hear about it. So you prep them. So at the end... You're right. Instead of losing that trust, because now you brought up, oh, by the way, yeah, it's going to cost you this out of nowhere. It's a, a cold amount that you bring up to them. 
They, they, they don't lose respect for you because you hid it from them and you were a, a pushy salesman at the end. Instead, as you're pitching, being like, yeah, by the way, if we're doing this door contact right here, we're gonna absorb this cost and let me show you on your back door, for example. And by the way, this motion, we're gonna absorb those costs. What you're gonna take care of, you're gonna laugh, is to tie this in for police monitoring, heaven forbid, medical monitoring, and you're gonna laugh at how inexpensive it is. By the way, our company is absorbing the majority of this and I'm gonna show you. Let me get into that. See, I just briefly went into it. Dude, I know I get a lot of energy, guys and excitement when I make these videos because I'm talking directly to exactly who I wanted to, which by the way, if you take a look here on YouTube, folks, I want to thank you so much. We crossed over 10,000 subscribers. And what's awesome is if you have a channel or you're growing it to that, once you hit 10,000 subscribers, YouTube actually sends you this congratulations with this counter counting all the way up. And it was just it was just amazing to actually see that. Not knowing, because as you guys know, I work on a lot of my other businesses. Uh, well, my other business that I have, but inside those businesses, uh, my products and stuff that we're working on, on Phil Quick, on Active Knocker, on getting more of these coaching sessions and trainings going on. Uh, you know, that, that I haven't had much time to just look at that and create these videos. Now that that's taken off and things are actually in place and you know, I'm hitting and uh, achieving targets and goals and you guys are communicating and summer is coming, you best believe we're here to stay and more of these videos are going to keep coming your way. If you got questions, email them at support at doortodoormastery.com. That is support at doortodoormastery.com and we will answer um, any of the questions that you guys and gals may have. So I hope that made sense. You're building up the value. That's great. You're not far off, Anthony. All you got to do is bring it back a bit as you're pitching and you don't want to do it way too early in, in your sale. And, and by the way, for those of you who grabbed the free video series, you, you're crazy not to if you are you have not grabbed it yet and you're watching or you're in door-to-door -door sales. It costs you absolutely nothing. It's a free video series. Click on the link in the description and grab that because what you're going to learn is how to engage, how to get from not interested to getting in the house and doing your, your presentation. So Anthony, when you're doing your features and benefits inside the house, don't be afraid to let them know there's going to be a minute cost and say it with confidence because the reality is you eventually got to collect a check or, you know, a credit card in order to charge your customer for your products and services. And there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. I pay for stuff every single day for services and so much more. Why wouldn't you, if you got an awesome deal for an amazing product with the right person? So don't be afraid to ask for money and to get them to sign on the dotted line. And by the way, that last video we created with uh, don't for, uh, sorry sign on the dotted line. Uh, my team posted. Thank you so much for having a flawless all thumbs up. So don't forget to do the exact same thing with this video. Give a thumbs up uh, if you like the video content that's in this video. We're gonna keep mass producing these videos coming out to you. So whether you're in the field right now or perhaps you know you're headed out there shortly to go and uh, knock on doors and and, and get some sales. Go get it, make it happen, make today a great day, and make sure you go out there and get your sales. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Boom, see you later.